in East Asia and the Pacific. People face some of the most serious impacts of climate change on Earth. From Vietnam's Mekong Delta, where millions of livelihoods are under threat from severe flooding and drought, storm surges, and land salinization. To Indonesia, where people living along the coast cope with the steady encroachment of sea level rise. To the Marshall Islands in the middle of the Pacific, which faces an existential threat from rising seas. Imagine an island in the middle of the ocean that is 200 meters wide and two meters above sea level at its highest point. Where can people live in a place like this? And in our current conditions of climate change impacts, rising sea levels, coastal erosion, increasing flooding, salinization of groundwater supply, an atoll is a tough place to live. But faced with these threats, the people of East Asia and the Pacific have developed world-leading innovative measures to adapt to climate change that also improve conservation and secure resources far into the future. The World Bank is standing with the region through these adaptation challenges and is supporting countries with innovative measures to improve coastal defenses protect natural resources, strengthen communities, and in extreme cases, help countries plan for an uncertain future. Together, these efforts are helping to build the resilience of millions of people across East Asia and the Pacific. In Vietnam, environmental deterioration threatens the livelihoods of millions of people along the Mekong Delta, a vital lifeline of agriculture and aquaculture. For farmers and communities, whose livelihoods depend on the health of the Delta's rich natural resources, adaptation will be the key to survival. Since 2016, the World Bank has supported more than a million farmers to transition to climate-resilient ways of farming. This includes a 387 million US dollar investment to support better floodwater management, regulate salinity levels, and support mangrove belts to cope with ever-shifting coastal dynamics. Mục tiêu của dáng là tăng cường cái khả năng thu nhập cho bà con nông dân. Thứ hai là cũng là uh, khả năng là có nghĩa là trữ lũ, uh, uh, đặc biệt là tạo điều kiện là thích ứng với biến đổi khí hậu ở trong cái vùng. The adaptation measures need to be as unique and diverse as the environment in which they exist. Với cái phương châm là cái uh, lưng canh sản xuất là một vụ tôm kết hợp với một vụ lúa hữu cơ. This project works with an extensive network of scientists working hand in hand with farmers to find nature-based solutions that best fit the challenges of each location. Local communities are beginning to reap the rewards of sustainable and climate resilient farming techniques. Hết nghèo là nguyên nhân nào? Là nguyên nhân nuôi trồng. Tiếp thu đông dân, tiếp thu vượt khoa học kỹ thuật. To sustain these nature-based solutions after the project ends, the World Bank is also supporting Mekong farmers through investments in improved infrastructure and improved agricultural cooperation across the region. Importantly, for the first time, the Mekong Delta has an integrated regional plan that prioritizes climate adaptation to protect and preserve the unique lifeline for the region. À, chúng tôi đánh giá cao về hiệu quả của dự án và còn quan trọng hơn nữa là những hỗ trợ kỹ thuật của các chuyên gia, những cái chỉ dẫn của các cái chuyên gia thông qua dự án này à, cho các cái hoạt động của không chỉ của người dân, à, của cán bộ à, đồng bằng sông Long mà còn định hướng cho chính phủ, à, giúp hỗ trợ định hướng cho chính phủ trong việc hoạch định phát triển lâu dài, bền vững đồng bằng sông Cửu Long. Half an ocean away from Vietnam, the Marshall Islands is facing unprecedented threats from rising sea levels and is now contemplating longer-term adaptation actions that few other nations have faced. We are taking a very specific human rights-based approach to how we uh, shape our national adaptation plan and how we plan for the future. We can't make these changes and look at extreme adaptation measures without taking into consideration who we are as a people and the most vulnerable of our population. Rising sea levels are projected to endanger 40% of existing buildings in the island's capital of Majoro. 
with 96% of the city at risk of frequent flooding induced by climate change. Together with the government of the Marshall Islands, the World Bank has developed tools to predict and map the impacts of rising sea levels over the next 100 years. In a country like RMI, where the topography is very flat, it's difficult to visualize precisely um, the areas projected to be inundated under different sea level rise scenarios. So visualization tools are very useful. The World Bank study and visual tool makes clear the specific long-term impacts sea level rise will have on urban communities and shows different adaptation options available to the country under various scenarios. The combination of climate science, data visualization, and policy advice that the World Bank has supported also includes a groundbreaking review of what the legal implications may be for small island states' access to resources, territorial rights, and even migration options in the face of rising seas. This, combined with the unprecedented 100-year timeline of the study, has provided unique and important work for small islands around the world. This adds to World Bank-supported adaptation work across the Pacific region, including a series of projects to make vital roads and transport links in the Pacific more climate resilient. Operating across six vulnerable small island states, this work ensures that in the face of climate change, Pacific people can remain connected to vital services like health and education and to each other. Indonesia is the world's largest island state it is also home to the largest extent of mangrove ecosystems, hosting 23% of the world's mangroves. Mangroves are critical to the survival of island nations of all sizes, improve the health of the world's oceans, and significantly contribute to the well-being of many Indonesian communities. They provide shoreline protection from climate-related disasters like storms and flooding, and reduced risks of inundation and erosion. They are also a vital tool in mitigating the impacts of climate change, storing significant amounts of carbon. In Indonesia, mangroves are nursery grounds for species that are essential for the country's commercial catch and food security, providing livelihoods for vulnerable coastal communities reliant on ocean resources. On average, for Indonesia, these benefits equate to 15,000 US dollars per hectare of mangroves every year. Laut untuk Raja Ampat adalah uh, kehidupan. Jadi hasil hasil dari laut itulah ya hasil hasil hidup kami. Nah, oleh sebab itu kami mengajak anak-anak muda serta masyarakat untuk uh, mulai pembibitan mangrove, mulai penanaman karang, karang dan juga lamun. Coastal communities and those living at low elevations in Indonesia are particularly vulnerable to sea level rise. And between 2070 and 2100, if no adaptation measures are taken, up to 4.2 million Indonesians could be exposed to permanent flooding. Mangroves can provide a vital line of protection against this. Despite their significant value, mangroves are threatened by climate change, deforestation, and unsustainable use, with aquaculture accounting for half of the loss. To address this, the government of Indonesia has pledged to rehabilitate 600,000 hectares of mangroves by 2024, supported by the World Bank's Mangroves for Coastal Resilience project. Untuk kita memperbaiki ekosistem mangrove, perikanan akan membaik dan juga ekoturism akan uh, ber, bisa dikembangkan gitu. Itu dari sisi ekonomi mata pencahari, pencahariannya. Lalu juga uh, dari sisi lingkungan uh, kita lihat di sini bisa uh, menjadi uh, meningkatkan ya ketahanan pesisir. Itu bisa membantu uh, masyarakat pesisir lebih safe atau mengurangi dampak dari uh, bencana alam tersebut. The World Bank has also supported mangrove management in Indonesia through the Coral Reef Rehabilitation and Management Program, known as CORMAP, a 20-year investment in coral reef management and research capacity. The scaling up of mangrove restoration and conservation projects is just one aspect of nature-based solutions to protect the ocean and livelihoods now and into the future. Untuk kepada kami masyarakat lokal, sehingga kami paham dan kami mulai belajar untuk tidak boleh menangkap hiu, tidak boleh menangkap eh, apa ini penyu, dan kami selalu tidak boleh apa itu tombak pari. 
the climate threats faced by people of East Asia and the Pacific are dire. But communities, local organizations, and governments are banding together to tackle these challenges head on, using innovative approaches to adapt to climate change that will serve as models for countries around the world. The World Bank is committed to supporting these efforts, helping governments to build a stronger, more resilient region where future generations not only survive, but thrive.